Guys, put your hands together for the very funny Mr. Cormac McGinnis! <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, you seem like you're in a good mood, so I'm going to talk about my mother. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be excited. Uh, she used to hold my hand in public to like punish me when I was a boy, or for her own amusement. I'm not really sure which, uh, but she did both. Um, she held my hand, but I get back at her nowadays, right, because when we're in public nowadays, I will hold her hand and uh, smile at passersby. You know, it's great to see them try and figure out our age difference, you know. Like, to those people, I'll give them especially, you know, knowing you look. <laughs> yeah. It's quite fun. And she'll struggle so hard as well, but I, I always say, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm stronger than you know. <laughs> I am from Ireland, uh, as Jeff said, I drink a bit much, uh, but I'm normal aside from that, you know, aside from my upbringing and everything. I, uh, I tried to give up drinking back in Ireland with uh, an AA program, right? but they have 13 steps in the AA programs back home. Right? They have one extra step at the end, which is uh, congratulate yourself on a job well done. Right? Yeah. You just have a pat on the back and then have a well deserved pint. So, uh, yeah. Back drinking, back drinking again. Uh, single though at the moment, which is, uh, which is odd. Apparently it's because I've got bad personality. Uh, whatever that means. Uh, yeah. My Tinder bio is good these days though. It, it reads uh, reasons to go out with me. One, I'm a funny guy. Yeah. Uh, two, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you may laugh, but when that, when that works, it works well. Because people are like, oh, you're, you're jokingly desperate. I'm like, no. Oh. <laughs> it's funny you think that. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It's weird though. Relationships are weird. Like, people in a comedy club will applaud. If a couple says, oh, we're together 20 years, everyone goes like, that's brilliant, that's so great. Like, as if they don't resent each other. Like, you know what I mean? As if, like, it's like, what if you're, you, like, they're, everyone is applauding for, like, how terrified they are of change, basically. <laughs> they're like, we don't, we don't want to risk it. <laughs> Just stay here, thanks. Um, yeah. I came out to my friends as a bisexual recently and they were cool about it, which is nice. And, you know, they still refer to me as old half a gay McGinnis, but that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's their way of showing me love, you know, it's, it's fine. Uh, it's weird though, like, you know, I, I only came out recently, so I wasn't much a part of the, uh, the LGBTQ community. Uh, you know, unless fucking men counts, in which case, you know, I'm a, I'm a pillar of that community. Uh, holding, holding it down, really. Uh, or if you don't like the, the idea that I'm a pillar, you know, could think as well that I'm like a piston, you know, because I go, you know, you know. Uh, name for those of you who aren't aware. We don't get our own parade though, we are float in the parade, we don't get our own part of the parade parade, like, it's not like, oh, here's gay firemen, here's gay charity workers, and now here's dudes who like fucking other dudes, like, oh, <laughs> just dressed unremarkably, like, oh. It's like, do you feel pride? They're like, no, we just like fucking. <laughs> low-key enjoy, enjoy fucking. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I met up with, uh, I met up with my, my, my ex recently, and we met up in a, in a pub, and we had wondering too many because, you know, Ireland. And uh, we, uh, it was weird, because we had, you know, one thing led to another, and we started kissing. And she stopped me, and she said, hey, this doesn't mean anything. Like, we're not getting back together. And I said, whoa, did you just create matter? Like, what the fuck, what does that, what does that mean? I didn't understand. Uh, we ended up sleeping together. Anyway, which is, which is probably a bad idea, right? Because sleeping with your ex is a lot like running for the bus in the rain. Because when you sit down on that bus, you're kind of dazed and confused, and you're looking around, and you're like, oh, okay, right, we're, we're here again. You know? 
I'm trying to say is that exes are a lot like buses. And that uh, it makes me sad to be in them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get more of you guys. You guys have a good night.